In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, more undercover tapes released tonight from the pro-life group Live Action. They show some Planned Parenthood workers in Virginia giving advice to a man posing as a pimp and asking about getting contraception, STD testing for underage sex workers. I kind of, I work in sex work. Now, some of them don't really speak that good of English, mm -hmm. and, and they're kind of young, like 14, 15. That's just some of them know. Can they, how can they get help if they need, like, possibly an abortion? Um, okay. Uh, in the state of Virginia, yeah. from, from the age of 12 yeah. up, for birth control, you can just come in and do that. Just come in and do it. You don't have to have a parent, okay? Now, for an abortion, though, you have to have a parent up to the age of 18. Once again, we invited Planned Parenthood on the show. Once again, they declined, but did send us a statement saying their workers in these latest tapes were acting professionally and that the staffers notified their supervisors. Joining us now from Omaha, a supporter of Planned Parenthood, political strategist Jane Fleming Kleb. Uh, Jane, I I've been watching all this stuff and these tapes coming out and so forth, and I'm trying to look at it tonight not as a pro-life person, but as a mom. And I know um, you have you mm -hmm. have daughters. I have a daughter. And, and I'm trying to think of it this way: If heaven forbid something should happen, my daughter was abducted, ends up with some freak like uh, a pimp or some sex trafficker, ends up trying to get her some STD advice or medical treatment at a Planned Parenthood clinic. You know what I want that Planned Parenthood uh, worker to do? Stop the conversation. Immediately notify authorities. Instantaneously, not after the fact but right away. That didn't happen here. Well, you know, as a mom, I totally agree with you. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is in Virginia, the Planned Parenthood worker didn't break any laws. Now, I think that this is something that the pro-life and pro-choice community can actually come to the table together. And I know a lot of faith leaders are trying to make them work at a national level to make sure that we have more prevention, more common sense laws in place. Because no 12-year-old, no 14-year-old should be able to go to Planned Parenthood and essentially get birth control without their parents knowing. I think, you know, most Americans would agree with that. Well, but do you find it in looking at the totality of these tapes, and we understand uh, that four new tapes are going to be coming out, I think, within the next week uh, across the country. Uh, you don't have a problem with the fact that in these tapes, these uh, Planned Parenthood workers just give this kind of rote advice to this pimp, and in one case, uh, another woman was with him, and don't seem to be raising any red flags at all. Now, Planned Parenthood said, well, we reported this to our national Planned Parenthood uh, security group, and then uh, they wrote a letter in January to Eric Holder, but it seems like their focus was on Lila Rose and the live action people more than on the fact that there could have been people sex trafficking in our clinics, looking for advice in our clinics. Just seems like the emphasis is demonizing the Lila Rose uh, folks who, in my mind, should get the Pulitzer for this. Well, I think there's a couple things. One, Planned Parenthood has been working with the FBI and the local authorities to make sure, and they reported all this because some of them actually did think that it was part of an established sex ring. And so... No, since no, no, no. Not, uh, Jane, I've got to stop you there. They did event. not report all this. That is absolutely not true. They did not report things in a meaningful way, which means contemporaneously with the action. If some guy comes into my office, says, I'm where I'm, you know, we have, a, we have this business going on with these 14 to 15 year old girls, that guy, first of all, isn't leaving my office. Okay, he's not talking to me for 10 minutes. I am like, excuse me, I'm, I have to get, uh, I have to get, I, I just got a call, let me be right back. I'm in there right now with local authorities immediately, not after the fact. We have, Laura, we have little girls, I little girls agree. being sex trafficked, little girls. And we're sitting here, it's like, well, they, they did write a letter and they did, uh, you know, they are reporting this. They, the Roanoke office is the only office so far, maybe there are others will come up later, that contemporaneously reported this to local authorities that could have stopped these people if, if obviously this was not a sting and these were real people. That's disturbing to me. Absolutely. Look, I completely agree with you, and I think the workers at Planned Parenthood would agree with you. And I think that these tapes are part of an orchestrated event that some pro, uh, pro-life groups are doing with the Republican Party in order to try to move forward this bill that Representative Pence is trying to get passed. Now, wait, wait. the is problem, there any evidence from my perspective, that is that wait, this way. Whoa, whoa, no. Nope. Whoa, whoa. Republican yes, actually, Party and Lila Rose. What's that connection? Where are you getting that?
I, I've never seen anything on that. Well, that first that of must all, be new. First of all, the, the ExposedPlannedParenthood.com website was essentially created by the same PR firm that the Republican National Committee and that two oh, Republican top other That's really Republican lame logic, by the way, created. because a PR firm no, worked no, for Laura, one group and is, worked for another. This so is, they're all, no, they're all the in, in this together. This is the logic. That the if only the Republican Party Laura, were this can smart. I get a word in here? That the Republicans had power for eight years. If they wanted to defund Planned Parenthood or make abortion illegal, they had eight years to do that. Little this girls. This is another empty promise little by the Republican girls. Party to the pro life. No, you can continue to bring that up, Laura. Nobody in yeah. this country thinks that little Planned girls Parenthood should be Planned Parenthood is attacking Lila Rose. For you, Planned Parenthood should be for firing you to all assume. these people, not making excuses for clinic workers who sit there with a straight face and listen to this stuff. They should be shut down immediately. Laura, this idea that, oh, this is about the Republican stop, Party. This is about little girls Planned and Planned Parenthood, Planned Parenthood making an enormous amount of money off of the abortion procedure and giving advice, it looks like, to underage women. No, this is women. about the pro-life and pro-choice community should actually come together. Yeah. Well, pro-life um, and pro-choice community should actually come yeah. together and make sure that common sense laws are in place. Yeah. And you should stop assuming that Planned idea. Parenthood wants to sex traffic yeah. little girls. I have a common sense idea. Why doesn't What's Planned that? Parenthood make its own money the right way, not off the taxpayers with $300 million? They make $210 million approximately off of abortions and they in the United prevention, States. That's and they a record provide that they, primary I bet care they for women, things like breast. Yeah. Two hundred million dollars. They can be proud that they prevent two hundred million dollars. Yes, well, Planned Parenthood can be proud that they prevent yeah. breast they cancer be proud. and yeah. other preventive. Forty million, forty million gone because of abortion. Jane, I appreciate it.